Mini episode 1561 of the FDH Lounge is brought to you by Sportsology, delivering unconventional columns and webcasts about sports, TV, music, movies, and more. Follow them on the web at sportsology.com. The FDH Lounge. You want to schedule your life around it. A long time ago, on a gloomy, wet Cleveland spring night, two men stand alone amidst the late night drizzle. Their voices echo across the vacant station parking lot as they debate the merits of the great American radio show that have been missing for far too long. On that night, an idea was born. That idea became the FDH Lounge. Welcome to the FDH Lounge. Hello and welcome to FDH Lounge mini episode 1561, our review of the AMC and Netflix program Better Call Saul. I'm FDH Managing Partner Rick Morris here with our top five spoiler-free notes of interest about this series, which we have also reviewed extensively with spoilers. Number five, Better Call Saul is the backstory of ambulance-chasing lawyer Saul Goodman from Breaking Bad with the additional backstory of his private investigator Mike Ehrmantraut. Saul's real name is Jimmy McGill, and when we meet up with him at the outset of the series, he's graduated from the mailroom of legal powerhouse HHM to his own small-scale private practice upon receiving his law degree from the University of American Samoa. Having grown up a small-time con man in the Chicago area nicknamed Slippin' Jimmy, we see the origins of the full-on Saul Goodman shyster powerhouse from day one, even if the journey to fully get there takes all six seasons. Mike's journey fleshes out how and why he went from crooked cop to crime scene fixer and hitman, and inevitably puts him on a path towards his employer on the Breaking Bad timeline, chicken franchise kingpin slash secret mega gangster Gus Fring, as we also see Fring's battles with his adversaries in the cartel, the Salamanca family. Number four. Initially envisioned as perhaps a pure comedy focusing on Saul interacting colorfully with the criminal riffraff of Albuquerque, it instead turned into a fascinating and heartfelt character study. The various foils created by the writers to fill out this Breaking Bad prequel flesh him out in a variety of ways. His big brother, the legendary but troubled legal genius Chuck, Jimmy Sweetie Kim, a straight and narrow lawyer with an increasing taste for Jimmy's schemes, blue-chip, respectable lawyer Howard Hamlin, who is Jimmy's opposite in every way, and Salamanca family gangsters Nacho, Tuco, and Lalo, who pushed Jimmy out of his comfort zone. Number three, the cast is legendary, with Bob Odenkirk as Jimmy, Jonathan Banks as Mike, Giancarlo Esposito as Gus, and Mark Margolis as Hector Salamanca, all returning from Breaking Bad. They're joined by more actors putting in their own legendary performances. Rhea Seahorn as Kim, Michael McKeon as Chuck, Patrick Fabian as Howard, Michael Mando as Nacho, Tony Dalton as Lalo, Carrie Condon as Mike's daughter-in-law Stacy. Mark Proch as nerdy scammer Price, and Ed Begley Jr. and Dennis Boutsakaris playing respectable legal counterparts to Jimmy. This is a true murderer's row of acting talent to truly match the writing. Number two, the cinematography is elite, unsurprisingly just like Breaking Bad, and the storytelling has many of the same thrill-a-minute aspects that serve as a Breaking Bad prequel. The areas that focus on Jimmy's character evolution are quieter, although they still inspire emotional intensity of a different sort. The cartel backstory from Breaking Bad plays out with every bit as much intensity as you would expect. Number one, the show rivals Breaking Bad in all-time greatness, and it works just fine as a standalone, even if you haven't seen the original part of the franchise. Here's a tip, though. If you haven't watched Breaking Bad, but think you might want to, watch all of Better Call Saul, until the last four episodes, then watch all of Breaking Bad, then go back to the last four episodes of Better Call Saul. That sounds insane, obviously, but based on the way that the writers move around the timelines, it all makes perfect sense. If you watched Breaking Bad, this program is an essential companion, just like the movie El Camino. But even if you didn't, it's the highest praise that we can give to say that you'll enjoy Better Call Saul immensely, because it stands alone quality-wise, not in the shadow of its legendary predecessor. Thank you for joining us for this mini-episode of the FDH Lounge.